All right, so I'm just sitting here in Power World. What can be something that can be really stupid, but also can be really impressive? So I'm thinking of trying to defeat the first Syndicate Tower boss with only Land Balls. And now I'm after some really good traits that would increase the Land Balls damage. I'm only going to be in that fight with my fist. Hey, yo! Let's go ahead and farm up some powers. We've got some more Land Balls here. Let's just yoink up all of them. Hopefully they've got some good stats. Logging four man, not the best. We got swift and motivational leader and power of gear. That one is actually pretty decent. I'm happy with that. But just to be sure, we are going to catch a ton more to get the best stats possible. We are looking for ferocious, and it, oh, there it is, ferocious. Awesome, we have gotten that. Come here, Mr. Lamble. No, you're not running away today. You are mine. Oh, and a chest. Yoink. Positive thinker. We would like to think positive that you will get good stats. Oh, he's in the water. Don't worry, I'll save you. They see me Don't roll over me. Are you dead? Oh, you're dead. I thought you were alive. Alright, we're at reset number like four now. Fingers crossed, we've got nothing on the past two runs. So hopefully we get something better. Get me off my mount. Thankfully we've got 200 spheres so we don't run out of anything. Another Vanguard, how hard is it to get Musclehead? Another day, another reset for Lamballs. Oh, I hear a shiny down there. Hopefully it's a shiny lamb ball. What up, Cadaver? I'll just slowly chip away your health with my pickaxe, if you don't mind. Ow! Oh my, why is that so powerful? <laughs> give me, give me your shiny essence. Lucky and Coward, that's like the worst combinations. This is lamb ball city here. There's so many. Zen mind, where's muscle head? We haven't gotten a single muscle head. I'm starting. How are you escaping this ball? Muscle head! We finally got a muscle head! Oh my god. And it was on a female, I believe. That's not the best. But we finally have a muscle head. Um, I've been farming for just under an hour now of straight farming. We're going to see if we get any more muscle heads on this run. But now that we've got that, we've pretty much got the best land ball we can ever find. Now we just need to breathe them up. All right, so farming for about an hour, I... I'm not even kidding. We've got like three, four, five pages full of just straight lamb balls. Now I need to go ahead and work through all of them to see which one's the best one. I, I know this one's good, so we'll put Chucky on the base. Well, the body has 20 defense. That might be good. And literally our last one is a male, which has muscle head, which gives it extra damage. So here are the pals here. We've got muscle head, bell, the body, and ferocious. That's the ones I'm wanting to chuck together. So we have attack plus attack, and then plus defense, which should be amazing. So we're going to chuck these two together first. Actually, we're going to breed two at a time, can we not? Yeah, we're going to breed two at a time. We're going to get a second hatchery going. We're going to chuck you in here. You've got build body as well. I know, this one's got muscle head. We want build body over here. You've got ferocious. This one needs to go over here. All right, so we got ferocious and muscle head in this pen. And the next pen, we have got a build body and ferocious once more. So hopefully we can get all four of those stats and chuck them together. And going to go ahead and breed three each. That one's already got cake in it. So we'll leave that one. This one, we're going to chuck three in. And just like that. And while these guys are bringing their eggs, I'm going to stock them up, chuck them in the egg incubators, and I'll be back once they are ready to hatch. All right, they have just finished laying all their eggs. So let's go ahead and scoop up all seven of the common eggs. And these ones over here. All right, so we just need to wait five minutes and hopefully we get lucky and get all the traits that we would like. All right, so it's now the next morning. The eggs are about to hatch and I am extremely excited to see what we are going to get. Let's start off. I have no idea if these are the defensive ones or offensive ones to build body, which is not what we want, but it's something. Another build body. Maybe they, we, these eggs are just completely wasted. We didn't, didn't combine any. Muscle head ferocious. That is the one that we would like. That is perfect. That is a breeding pair for sure. We got extremely lucky with that one. Muscle head ferocious and swift. That one's even better because it has swift on it. Build body and ferocious. Okay, we are getting some amazing drops here. Ferocious build body. Those were fantastic. We're going to breed together this one with Ferocious Swift muscle head and then this one with Ferocious and muscle head as well. But to be completely honest, if this one, if we all, if we fail, we don't get like all golden traits. I'm happy just to use this lamb ball, Ferocious Swift and muscle head. That is amazing. Once again, we're going to go and head and chuck five cakes in and we are going to wait for them to hatch and we'll see what we get. 
All right, so I've been breeding a bunch of eggs recently and we've gotten nothing good besides this one that we hatched ages ago. He somehow folded, so now he's just healing up. We're gonna go ahead and chuck him in our party. It is a him, if I'm correct. It's a her. We're gonna grab her. And what we are going to do is we are going to infuse her with a bunch of other pals and make her the strongest pal we have as we are going to go ahead and just use a single pal we need 32 we should have more than 32 that should be a whole box full condensed condensed we need 64 we we might be able to do this again to be completely honest with you this we, we've got still a whole box left this just goes to show how many land balls i collected and it's already maxed out we've maxed out our land ball at level five at level 4, it already has 225 attack damage, plus 50% from our skills. Now what we're also going to do is we're going to infuse it with a bunch of PAL essence as well. We're going to go ahead and get its max HP up. We'll get it just until... Actually, no, we'll, we'll leave it at 21%. We'll get everything up. This is going to be insane. Yes, I'm most likely wasting a bunch of resources on this pal. But I think def I think we should just chuck one point in everything, right? We're just going to go ahead and chuck one point <laughs> into everything. And just like that, our level 5 land ball has 1,000 HP at level 5. 1,000 HP at level 5. I can't wait to upgrade this thing to get to level like 20 or 30. All right, but we also are going to teach it some rock moves. I've got some in here. We've got Sand Blast. We've got Stone Cannon. We'll use Stone Cannon. We've got Sand Tornado. We're going to need to make him learn these because we need to go ahead. Stone Cannon. We'll get, we need all the ground types because ground is going to be very effective against the electric boss, which has 30k HP. So hopefully we can do our best. Now what I need to do is go out and kill a bunch of things and farm it to level up. So yeah, I'll be back once it's like at least level 25 to 30. My guy tried to blow up. He's already, we've killed like three bosses and he, he has implode. I do not want you to have the power to be a remote C4 bomb right now, okay? <laughs> I want you... <laughs> Bro, just almost as he's killed himself before hitting the big boss. Oh, lamb ball. But as of level 27, our lamb ball currently has the most attack damage in our entire team. And now we are here at the first syndicate tower with a level 32 lamb ball. We could do a high level. But I want to see how well she does with just her being level 32. She has some decent abilities. She has implode, but I kind of don't want to do that because I don't, I don't want to wait 10 minutes every single time she does that. But she has over 750 attack damage, which is insane. Literally more damage than my other pals in here. Not as great defense. Anyway, come on, Lamb Ball. We're going to try. I'm so excited for this boss fight. <laughs> I literally can't wait. I would like to see how much damage my Lamb Ball does. All right, we're here. Now, we do have a 10 minute timer and our land ball hopefully doesn't explode. Oh my god. I don't need to do anything. My land ball is just absolutely obliterate. Okay, I literally underestimated how much damage my land ball was going to do. Oh my days. 2,000 damage. Uh, this land ball's insane. He's, she's taken no damage. I right, finish her off. Finish her off. Oh my god. <laughs> my I'm speechless. A lamb ball takes down this boss. Oh, the disrespect. Throwing mud on her face. I didn't expect that. Come here, lamb ball. Come here. Okay, here we have... I'm not going to drop you, don't worry. Here we have the champion lamb ball. Absolutely destroying that boss in like under two minutes. I want to see how well it does against the second boss. I think I need fire attacks for it. So let's go ahead and get some fire attacks on her. Oh, I didn't mean... Okay, so what do we got? We got Igneous Blast, Spirit Fire. We got Flare Arrow and Igneous Blast. We also have Flare Storm. Okay, here we are at the second boss. Lamb Ball, are you ready? I have extremely high hopes for you, especially after that last boss fight. Let's get into it. All right, good luck. All right, go on, Lamb Ball. I completely forgot it was a... A grass, not a fire. But you were doing so much damage. I can't believe it. What level is this boss again? This this boss is level 25, has 70,000 HP, and a level 32 lamb ball is just being destroying this boss. Although, our lamb ball is taking a bunch of damage, especially with those grass attacks. 
So we're just going to have to reposition Lamble every single time to avoid the attacks. Okay, it's kind of hard for it to attack now. Just focus on me. I kind of don't want to interrupt this boss fight. This boss fight is really sick. You're doing damage. You're doing damage. I must say you're doing damage. I'm going to feed him. 10% damage resist. This is going to be such a tough fight. Just aggro on to me and we're happy. Okay, she's almost half HP. Yes, yeah, aggro on to me. That's all I want. That's all I want is an aggro on to me. Our Lamble is healing up quite nicely. Go use that fire. Okay, there's a seed bomb. I'm going to chuck Lamble over there to be safe. Oh, now Lamble is stunned. That's not hitting Lamble, is it? No, nah, our Lamble is just... <laughs> I'm so surprised. Our Lamble is doing so much. I mean, to be fair, it's, it's, our Lamble is completely broken, right? Oh no, we just got poisoned. He might be throwing here. Okay, Lamble, you need to finish the job. You need to finish the job. 18k health. Not much left now. Okay, I'll distract the bubbles. I'll distract the bubbles. Okay, she's running after me. You got plenty of time, Lamble. You've got, you got plenty of time to attack her. She's stuck on this one move where she wants to poison me. Big damage, big damage. <laughs> I'm literally so blown away about how much damage our Lamble does. Taking on bosses, like this is stupid. The worst creature in the game taking on my stun. <laughs> this Lamble is about to take down two of the game's bosses. I wonder if I can do any more. Probably not. I might have to find that out. Okay, 3k HP left. Finish her off, Lamble. Just finish her off. I didn't even think this boss was going to be possible, to be honest. Okay, play safe now, Lamble. You don't want to die right now. Finish the job. Nice. No way Lamble just did that. Actually insane creature. Look at this. You just got destroyed by a lamb. All right, you are the most OP creature in the entire game. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. It'll just chuck Lamble. Oh no, you didn't go off the cliff this time. Congratulations.